What's going on YouTubers? Mopar people. This is uh, Mopar Man 1978. I'm out here with Project Black Widow 1990 Jeep Cherokee Laredo 4x4. Uh, this is just kind of a quick update. Um, as you can tell, like I was telling you before, here's the old early style factory uh, elbow, air induction elbow from the factory for the uh, throttle body over there. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I took the uh, plate off. As you can see I have the plate temporarily bolted to the throttle body. Um, I am going to cut, we're not going to use this because it's a piece of junk and it's rotting, but we are going to use, I am going to take a, uh, an X-Acto blade and I'm going to cut this section out and keep this gasket to go underneath this plate to make sure it's sealed. Uh, if I really didn't, if it was in too bad of a shape, I wouldn't have, uh, um, used this. I would just use a good quality rubber or silicone gasket or something, make my own gasket anyway. Uh, that's what we're all about here on uh, my channel about uh, low budget stuff but uh, also um, found this at a at a release um, three inch by three inch um, it fits perfectly inside the plating and here's the hole for your uh, which is the they got a special name for it now, but it's basically a fancy version of a basically electrical choke sensor. Anyway, I will have to modify this section here. I'll have to cut it, flare it out, and then weld up the seams when I have this plate off of there, of course. But this is a three inch section. I do have, where is it? Uh, it's inside the Jeep. I basically have another exact um, exhaust pipe ad adapter piece, but it's actually three inch like this one is, but then on this side it actually tapers down just a little bit more like this right here in this section where it dips down and it's slightly sh narrower than three inches. Uh, I got that, so I didn't, that's why I haven't really got, um, anyway, um, here is a piece of 3 inch galvanized, 3 inch wide by 24 inch, I believe it was 24 inch, uh, piece of uh, exhaust pipe from like Menards for like, uh, when you have a propane powered hot water heater or a small furnace um, so basically we're going to be drilling a hole over here three inch hole maybe a little bit wide just a hair wider but as you can tell the pipe has plenty is the, the correct length to come over here and then I bought two of these 3 inch 26 gauge as you can see um, since I don't since I'm an army of one today I don't have here let's see here sorry I'm gonna set the set the phone down maybe you can see it there we go I gotta split these two elbow sections as you can see and each one of these sections on the elbow uh, rotates for whatever tight configuration you need. Anyway, um, I got two of these. I found out I was going to need two of these to actually, once you have it attached, let's see here. Now I can pick the camera back up. Sorry about that. Anyway, sorry. Touch. I got a touch screen on the back side of my smartphone and it, somehow I bumped the uh, zoom in. Anyway, as you can see, the two elbows. 
And what that'll do is basically since this is coming in over at an angle, I'll give you an idea. It's going to come in like this, but these two elbows, like I said, each little part on the elbow pivots whether you want it to expand out or come in tighter. But anyway, when I had the hood down, this basically, when I had the hood down and I laid it over here at an angle, this basically lined up perfectly straight with the uh, this panel here. But, you know, this piping is going to be going down inside the cavity underneath this panel. I still have to, mod to figure out on how I want to modify this because with the plate that goes clear across this and covers up, there's a, that's where the fresh air comes in for your uh, AC unit slash heater when you want fresh air to come into the cabin. Over here it comes in, goes underneath here, and I believe right about here... There's a rectangular hole where the fresh air comes down in and when I shine the light in there I notice that from the factory they don't put a, a patch of screen screen over it like a, like on a screen door to keep bugs and debris from getting sucked down into your heater box or having bugs crawl down in there. Anyway, I'm gonna once I get all this taken care of, I'm gonna modify it. But uh, that'll be in more videos on doing the cold air induction on this poor man's cold air induction but um, yeah the only thing that we have left is I gotta buy the silicone 90 degree elbow which is like $16 online I, f I found a uh, company that uh, sells uh, really good quality blue dark blue um, elbows and stuff for uh, air induction and turbochargers and all that stuff and I'll, I'll put the uh, the company's uh, we, uh, web address in the uh, descriptions below but uh, get that and then um, I found a uh, K&N cone shaped air filter that will fit down inside that cavity under the, the cow the cow panel uh, perfect and it even has a uh, a sleeve on it that will fit either just inside the three inch tube or over the outside of the tube anyway I'll and in one of the later on videos I'll show you how I modified it for it to fit but anyway uh, that's where we're at on the Jeep and I'll make a parts list of stuff if you decide you want to do it to one of these older Jeeps I'll have all the parts and stuff listed in the final video in the description um, but if you want to know the parts now let me know in the comment section to help get you started but uh, like I said I won't have the complete list yet until I'm completely done modif modifying this but uh, like I said if you have any questions comments feel free to post them below Hope if you guys, uh, if you guys, uh, you know, I, I don't have a problem with constructive criticism. So any new subscribers, anybody just coming through and randomly seeing my videos, that's not even a subscriber or whatever, or follower, or whatever. I'm basically limited to what I can do. Um, but if you have something maybe on my channel that it would help my channel out that you might want to, you know, say, hey could you think about doing this or you might want could you you might want to change this up or something a little bit you know something that's reasonable a reasonable request um if you like what i'm doing and i shouldn't change a single thing let me know as well um you know and i'm i'm trying not to be just stuck on jeeps or my mopars or mopars or anything but i, I mean i am going to try to do other videos with people's personal collections like even if it's a tractor, an old school tractor that I have, some person I know that has an old school tractor that maybe I want to feature in a video, I'll do that too. Something different. Um, you know, um, maybe some some guy, like I got invited up to a garage that where they restore vehicles and they've got a, a variety of vehicles, Ford, Chevys, Mopars. Um, at some point I might be able to get a chance up there because I can't do it right now because his wife is sick. 
um, she's pretty bad off. Um, uh, prayers go out to uh, his wife, Jim Brown, here in the area. Um, but uh, anyway, like I said, any constructive criticism is, uh, you know, fine as long as, you know, somebody doesn't get in there and be a jerk about it. But um, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I rambled on long enough, but have a good day.